if you could uh, to introduce yourself and explain to us what exactly you do. Uh, Doc Hamilton, and what I do is uh, referee, judge, and uh, that's basically it with MMA. Uh, and I have a uh, company where we instruct uh, potential uh, referees and uh, judges and give seminars, and it's called uh, MMArefs.com. Uh, what is it going to take for the commission to make? Uh, it's going to take, uh, <laughs> it's going to take God on our side, I think. I don't know, we had a meeting this past Tuesday, and um, it's kind of a little bit complicated. A year ago, the governor, Schwarzenegger, signed a bill authorizing the Athletic Commission to regulate MMA. As a result of that, the commission then went ahead and opened up a process that takes 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, there's a whole number of days in there, which I don't remember offhand, wherein they took recommendations from anybody that was interested with regards to the rules, regulations, etc. So ostensibly they had one year from that date to to get something in, passed and uh, accepted by the state, partif particularly the Office of Administrative Law. Well, we're on the verge of that happening but the pride organization in this last meeting gave them certain rules that they want the commission to consider for adoption. Basically, using ropes in conjunction or instead of cage. In other words, they're not dictating one or the other. They're just saying, you know, if somebody wants to use a ring, they should be able to use a ring. If they want to use a cage, use a cage. They wanted to be able to have somebody use a gi if they want it, shoes and then their format of 1055. So if the commission <laughs> voted to do that, that sets the process back another so many days, providing the Office of Administrative Law doesn't have any questions, it could still go through by early December. If they come back with questions and the paperwork, et cetera, can't be done by that date, then they've run the one-year statute, and then we go into next year, and it probably won't be until the middle of 06 before we get anything passed. I hope that's clear enough. So you think in 2006 it could be legal? Well, technically, it could be legal by the end of this year if all things go the way they're supposed to. If it doesn't, then we're talking middle of 06. Is there a chance that the commission won't allow it at all? No. The commission is 100% for it. The commission is not the problem. It's people that along the line that they have to pass the rules on to, Office of Administrative Law and so forth and so on, budget and finance, and these are people that come back and say whatever they say, which holds up the process. But the California Commission is 110% behind it, and they're not the problem. So what do you think we can expect when this goes through? Well, they've both, they've both said that they want to do that. Uh, both of them have attended the meetings. Both of the representatives, their representatives were there last Tuesday. Uh, and uh, both have stated that they want to rent out something like Staples in L.A. It could be uh, Arco up in uh, Sacramento. It could be The Pond. But it's large, huge sites. Would you expect a lot more smaller shows? Absolutely. There were smaller promoters there at the show, at the meeting the other day, and everybody's just chomping at the bit because everybody knows California is a, uh, you know, it's a gold mine, and uh, you know so many of the fighters come from here, so many of the camps are located here, uh, that everybody just chomping at the bit. I mean, 70% of the people that attend the shows in Las Vegas are from California, and so it's just like the old days when they had Sutter's Mill and there was a. Gold Rush, cross country, well, that's what they're waiting for. Both of them have attended the meetings. Both of the representatives, their representatives were there last Tuesday. Uh, and uh, both have stated that they want to rent out something like Staples in L.A. It could be uh, Arco up in uh, Sacramento. It could be The Pond. But it's large, huge sites. What would you expect a lot more 
you expect a lot more smaller shows? Absolutely. There were smaller promoters there at the show, at the meeting the other day, and everybody's just chomping at the bit because everybody knows California.